What is going on everyone and this time we have another episode of the Thursday questions and this time we're gonna take a look at the problem or the question which says why won't my Apple Watch update? What is the problem with my Apple Watch that it just doesn't want to get the latest version of the watch OS? Let's begin with this video right now. I guess that I don't have to explain that all of the updates are happening within the watch app on your iPhone which is paired to your Apple Watch. So on the watch itself you can check out or take a look at the version that the, that the watch is currently running but you're not able to click install or download the update. Everything has to be done through the watch app on your iPhone. Okay so here you have to open up the general section and you, here you can see the software update and uh, if you have an internet connection you can take a look at if you have some updates available, they can be downloaded or can be installed on your Apple Watch. If the problem is that you have, you can see the update and you simply are not able to get it. The problem could be that your Apple Watch is running low on battery. In that case, you're going to have to plug it into the wall. You're going to have to charge it to at least 50% and have it connected to the power all the time so you can actually install it, but you can still download it without the presence of the Apple Watch on your iPhone first. And then once everything is set up and once your Apple Watch is in range with your iPhone, like once they are in in like the near distance between them, then you can start the installation process. But this is probably the usual stuff. But I want to get to the point where people just simply can't see the update for their Apple Watch. Okay, so we got this out of the way. If you want to install it, you're gonna have to have enough storage, enough battery, everything has to be in range, and you have to have internet connection to download the update. This is the normal stuff. But what if you're not even able to see the update in the update section on your watch app on your iPhone? Well, the problem or the thing with the Apple Watch being connected to the iPhone is that if you know that we are expecting the Apple Watch OS 6, it has been already introduced as a beta version, but the thing is that unless your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS, the iOS 13, then you won't have the option to install the Apple Watch OS 6 on the Apple Watch. So, you know, like the watchOS 5 is connected to the uh, iOS 12, watchOS 6 is connected to the iOS 13 and so on. I think you understand and get my point. So if you just want to get the watchOS 6, you're going to have to at first install the latest version of iOS in the settings app of your iPhone. You're going to have to go here and simply update it. So yeah, you're not able to go any further unless your iPhone is up to date. It doesn't really matter if you have like iOS 12.1, let's say, you still can go ahead and update to the watchOS 5 to the latest version of the watchOS 5. But since, you know, like the 12 and the watchOS 5 are, con are connected together, if you would like to go to the watchOS 6, you would have to have at least the first version of the iOS 13. And yeah, this kind of sucks because they have to be optimized like that. And why does it suck? Well, because people are usually having the older versions because of the jailbreak. I know that jailbreaking is not really a thing nowadays, but there are still some people who are keen on this or simply people that grew up with the jailbroken device and simply want to have it. And in case you want to have your Apple Watch up to date, but still keep the old version on your iPhone, it's just not gonna be possible. Okay, so I think that this would be it. I don't know what else I could tell you about it. In case you have a bigger problem beyond this, beyond my explanation, then you simply have to look it up on the Apple support or like text them, you can make a phone call to them or simply show up at the Apple store and explain what's going on with your device. And in those cases, they will simply take your Apple Watch and perhaps do something in order to repair it or give you a new one based on your warranty and stuff. But these, at first, you always have to try out the things that might work at home and then bring the device to the Apple Store. But I think that this this is the most common problem when it comes to the software update. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful or if I gave you an answer that helped you, then don't forget to smash the like button because it really helps the channel. And, and if there's one thing that would help me and you would also benefit from is clicking the subscribe button because you will stay updated and I can produce videos for more people. So yeah, click on the red subscribe button and see you guys in the next videos. Peace out.